Kevin, it's good talking to you again. Um, uh, now that you're back on the books, having signed your coaching contract uh, today, was it a straightforward decision for you to extend your time in the Ro Rovers coaching setup? Yeah, um, of course. I mean, I spoke to the manager in about February time when I announced my retirement from playing. We spoke about the future and where where my future was going to be, and 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 then you know we made it clear that obviously we wanted to achieve promotion to start with, um, and then take it from there. Um, obviously that didn't happen, but. The, the, the coaching setup still remains the same. Um, Craig's obviously moved on, and it's been a great season for myself on a personal point of view. Obviously, taking away you know the end of the season, but for throughout the whole season, I enjoyed it. I, I worked every day. I loved working with the guys. I thought we had a great coaching setup. Um, four of us worked very hard. You know, we all enjoyed working with each other, bouncing ideas off each other, and, and for myself, as sort of development-wise, it, it was it was great. Um, really enjoyed the responsibilities and the roles I was given um, and, and you know and I look to try and you know take on more responsibility this year and, and, and try and, and try and get better um, work alongside Barry has been fantastic for me it's been great I've enjoyed working with him he's, he's given me you know so much knowledge and help when it comes to ideas suggestions players whatever coaching setups and you know I, hopefully that continues obviously We've now got an aim of, 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 of achieving promotion, which we, you know we hope to do. And you know I'm delighted to be here and delighted to be part of the setup. Yeah. And and close season is is a time of comings and goings, you know. And obviously it's been a bit of a bit of a busy day today mm -hmm. already. Today, uh, Chris Duggan, we've been able to announce that signing mm -hmm. uh, that was made uh, last week. And uh, Robbie Thompson. Mm -hmm. uh, just to look at those two players that have joined most recently. Um, Chris Duggan. You've seen him at close proximity last season playing for East Fife. Uh, and Robbie Thompson, very obviously a keeper, mm -hmm. like yourself. Um, talking about those two, Chris first and Robbie second, uh, what are they going to bring to the table? I think that um, I watched I watched uh, Chris playing a game um, earlier on in the season um, and, and I thought he worked his socks off. I thought he ran himself in the ground. I thought he was, he was such a good outlet for his team. Um, at the time in the game, I watched East Fife were struggling and, and, and he really, you know, Helped them I, I get their, I think they, they won the game, but I think that his performance in the game was, was excellent. You know, he never he never stopped running. He held the ball up well, and he, he's a threat in the box. And I think that you know that's what we look to try and do is, is try and have different options uh, going forward. And I think that he'll give us a different option. Hopefully, as the season progresses, we'll give him opportunities to score goals. And I think if we give him those opportunities, he'll score them. I think that he, he's got a bit of physical presence about him as well and you know he's a great signing he's a young player that you know we hope that we can develop and he can come in here and, and, and you know over the course of the season develop as a player and help the team going forward and, and with Robbie same situation maybe slightly older but I think we look at Robbie coming here and, and there's an opportunity for him now you know obviously we're looking to bring someone else in as well and um, to compete at, at, at first team level so Robbie will have to come in and, and, and show that he's good enough that, to play and, and you give an opportunity to get 40 games under his belt if he does that again you know and we achieve the goal that we're looking to achieve in terms of promotion you know, I think that we look at players that you know the club will be going forward, but then as individuals, um, we'll, we'll be prog progressing here, and that's what we hope to do. Mm. And just just going back to to, to Robbie, uh, particularly, you know, as a former keeper yourself, and obviously, obviously, you're now first team coach. Do you find yourself slightly, I wouldn't say biased, but do you look at keepers more closely, or do you treat them like everybody else? I've got to treat them like everyone else. You know, it's it's, it's um, you know, he's a, a new signing and, and, a, and a, a player who can come in and. Um, and, and do well here. So you know, you look at him as a as a player. He's a good age. Um, you know, as I say, that we're looking to try and bring these types of players in, um, and, and you know, hopefully he can come in here and do well. Um, I think that he's the right type of character as well. I think we've got to get the right types of characters, guys who are, who are wanting to come here and work hard. And um, you know, he's definitely that type. And I think that you know, if, if he can prove that he's, he's he's good enough to play in the team, you know, he'll have a good season. There is other recruitment to be done. You've mentioned another keeper coming in to compete with Robbie, uh, and and in other positions as well. Um, without breaking any confidentiality, um, how is that recruitment progressing? I understand you've been talking to the manager, you know, pretty much every day since the season. Yeah, I spoke to him near enough every day. We talk, talked about signing targets and, and and players that we look to try and bring in, and obviously there's a a, a process that goes through. You know. It can take longer than expected at times. So, so every day we're in touch, and every day we're looking, we're talking about you know players and, and how things have progressed, and you know 
and, and we hope to make more signings obviously as the time goes by and um, you know hopefully it'll be similar types um, as I say in terms of guys who want to come here and do well and want to develop their career you know we're not looking to bring in guys that you know are here to do a, a sort of short-term job you know we're looking at guys that can can help this club go forward and, and, and take steps forward and um, you know hopefully in the next few weeks uh, leading up to obviously pre-season starting and the, the league campaign starting we'll, we'll, we'll bring more guys in I mean, there's sometimes an anxiety amongst us supporters, you know, as each day goes past, you know, will we have a team? But it sounds like that's 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 well in place. Yeah, I think that it was the nature of the beast, you know, there'll be lots of guys there, you know, lots of players waiting for, for phone calls as well, you know, all around the country. And it's it's just the nature of the game, you know, where, where, where it seems to be an initial kind of burst of, of players moving here or there at the end of the season and then a wee lull before pre-season starts. And, you know, we, we, we've made two signs today, we look to make more. Um, you know, I think the supporters will look at, it, as I say, the types of players we're, we're bringing in, and and hopefully, you know, they'll be excited about about the new players coming in. It's a new day for everybody. You know, we're looking to try and, um, you know, go one step further this season. And you know, it might be quiet just now, but you know, in the next few weeks, there'll be more guys coming in. Yeah, and you you started off by signing up the experienced players. You know, uh, over the last couple of weeks, Benny. Davo, Ewan Murray, uh, and the three younger ones as well, um, James Berry, Jamie Watson, and, and Ryan Stevenson. Big opportunity for all those players in different ways, isn't it? Yeah, I think when you look at the, the f- first three guys you mentioned, it was kind of, you know, three out of the four regular starters in our back four that had one of the best defensive with Eckers in the country. So I think it was important that we, we got those guys signed up. Um, you know, Ewan Murray and, and Benny probably come under that category of guys that, you know, will, will look at this, this club and, and try and progress with the club. Dav was the type of guy that we need in the dressing room as well, where he's got that experience, where we've got younger guys that can prog- can progress their career. We've also got the you know the experienced guys, the guys that know their jobs, the guys that know you know how it, what it takes to go over the line in a season. So that that will be as important as the rest of them. Um, and and the younger guys, you know, Jamie's obviously had a taste of first team football. James Berry was involved in the first team squads as Ryan Stevens had a loan spell. So these guys will be coming, and 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 there'll be opportunities there, but they need to take them. You know. If, if they get the opportunity, they need to prove that they're ready to come in and play. And if they if they do that, you know the manager shown, you know that the likes of Dave McKay, you know Reagan is a younger player came in last year. Jack Smith played in games. Jamie played in games. Um, you know, manager shown that if, if they if they prove they're good enough, they'll play. Um, and, and, but they need to go and prove they're good enough. Uh, there's an opportunity there, um, but they need to take it. Yeah, sounds like there's a clear plan in place. Um, the final question. Um, it reflects back on you personally. Obviously, as you said, you retired from the playing side in February of this year after what was nearly a, t- a near 20 year career since signing as a pro as a 16 mm-hmm. year old at St Johnson. Over those 20 years, and I don't want to keep going on about time and age, um, but um, you've worked with many players and many coaches. Um, is there one specific coaching point or point that you make to players that you picked up from any of your managers and who was that manager? Um, I, I, I would think that you try and pick up bits and pieces from everyone that you work with and try and you know, mould yourself from that. There was a lot of guys where you know, I worked with guys in the early part of their careers in, in management and coaching, like said, Derek McInnes and Owen Coyle and Alex Neal, you know, worked with those guys you know, and, and you learned a lot off them you know, because they were guys who had that transition that they just went through from playing to coaching so I got to see a lot of guys on their first day the, the job and, and how they evolved and how they progressed as coaches and managers and and, and you know I, I took inspiration from those types of guys and um, I've now become that person where I wanted now try and progress myself and try and become better at my job every day and I think that that's a you know something I held from day one from when I first walked in the door at St Johnston in 98 you know that was my first day was to to, to progress and every day be better um, I, I've always tried to motivate myself I've always tried to to do the best I can for myself and I've, I've, um, and, and turn hopefully the team as a player all I wanted to do was do, do my best and I think that that's all you can do you know if you're happy to sit and and not not be better you know you'll, you'll never get better if you if you're happy to go and put the hours in that nobody sees I would say that last year I probably put in more hours um, you know, working for Wraith Rovers and I did any any club, any season in the, other, in the previous 19 and that's because I want to get better and I think that you know, if you've got that type of attitude where people can first and foremost you know, they'll say that 
you're professional and you're hard working and you can never question your attitude or your desire you know that's what I've always thought I don't think that you'll come across one person I've worked with in 20 years that could say that you know I was unprofessional or I lacked commitment or you know didn't work work as hard as I possibly could every single day I've taken that into coaching you know and, and Barry's the same you know I, I, I bet somebody would say that about him as well um, and I think that having that kind of attitude as a player you know I did the best of what I had. Uh, I got through twenty years, and I had uh, I had some great times and days that I'll never forget. And you know, played against people that I never thought I'd play against. You know, I always hope the best days are ahead of me, and 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 I work hard every day to try and hope that that happens. It's a good approach to have. Thanks for that, Kevin. Good luck. Thank you. Cheers.